Hi, my name is Nate with SalesPad, and this is a video on our settings menu. Settings can be accessed through the main dropdown by choosing settings or through the modules dropdown under system settings. And to have access to the settings menu, users will need access to the settings security option. In the settings menu, we have a filter bar that allows you to filter for uh, not only the setting group, which is noted at the header here, but also through the setting names themselves. So typing in tax is going to show me all settings that are part of a group that has tax in it, as well as all settings that have tax in their name. We also have the option to export settings and import settings. And this is particularly useful if you have multiple companies that are using SalesPad uh, with multiple databases in GP. Uh, this way, if you want all your settings to be the same across instances of SalesPad, you can export the settings for one database, import it into another. And you can also use this to back up settings before making any changes, things like that. On the left, we have our setting names. And these are just the generic description of what the setting is. For a more detailed description, you can look down at the bottom of the screen here, where it'll give you the setting name and then what the setting does or controls and what its default value is. As you can see, this default phone format country code is explained here, and it defaults to US, which is the value that I have in the right column. Uh, all of these values can be changed in some way or another. Uh, the true false ones can be double clicked to change, or you can, be, you can select them from the drop down. Other ones are free text. Uh, you can just type in a value and any changes you make need to be saved with the Save button. As you can see, there are a lot of different settings available within the Settings menu, so we won't cover all of them, but there are a few important ones to note. Uh, for instance, Settings is where all the email setup is taken care of uh, to set up the actual server that you're sending your email through, uh, your user, password, port, uh, security, that sort of thing for the email. And that's all found in the sales email confirmation, which can easily be accessed by filtering for email in the search bar. We also have a variety of tax settings available. So if you're using Avatax or CCH, uh, filtering for tax is going to give you access to those settings. This is also where you can set what your sales tax query handlers are and what order they should be used in. If you're using card control, filtering for card control will bring you to all the different card control options within settings, uh, such as whether you allow authorizations above the document total or not to account for things like extended freight, that sort of thing, um, what sort of payment types you can set up for your credit cards, uh, things like that. If you filter for customer search, You can see there are a variety of options for how you search for customers in the customer search module. These options make it so you can search through more than just the first address line. Uh, you can make it so you can only search the customer name rather than customer ID, uh, things like that. And in sales document entry, we also have a variety of settings for controlling how sales documents get entered, um, whether you're defaulting documents to be shipped complete, um, if you have custom pricing enabled. Uh, there are a variety of options here that kind of fine tune the sales document entry options. And if we filter for override, you'll see in the sales entry overrides, there's one option in particular that's fairly important, and that's the allow multiple locations setting. This makes it so you can have multiple locations on a sales document split amongst the lines rather than just having a header location and locking all the lines to that location. So if that's a functionality your company uses, that's one that you definitely want set to true. And it's important to note that all of these settings take effect for the logged in user as soon as the change is saved, but they don't take effect for any other users until they log out and back into SalesPad. And that is our settings menu. Thanks for watching the video, and we have plenty more available on the website at www.salespad.net.